KSI, I think Jake Paul regressed. Shot selection was poor against Diaz. KSI has disagreed with Jake Paul's claim of growing as a boxer and getting better skilled in the ring. KSI and Paul are heated social media rivals and their animosity has carried over into boxing. Earlier this month, Paul secured a 10-round unanimous decision over MMA veteran Nate Diaz. For Paul, it was his first win since suffering an eight-round split decision loss to unbeaten light heavyweight prospect Tommy Fury back in February. KSI will be facing Fury in a crossover boxing match on October 14th. During a recent interview, KSI explained that he was far from impressed with Paul's most recent in-ring performance. I feel like he's regressed, if anything, KSI said to MMA Hour. I don't think he did very well against an opponent who hardly jabbed. Watching the fight, I was like, Nate isn't jabbing at all. He's not setting anything up. Jake wasn't setting anything up. He was just surviving the 10 rounds. Low output, low IQ. I don't really understand what Jake was trying to do. I think he tried going ham in the first round. Realized he didn't want to gas out because he had nine more rounds. And then just decided to go at this really slow play pace and just survive the 10 rounds while jabbing and moving. That was kind of it. I don't feel like Nate posed a threat. He has pillow hands, especially in the boxing ring. When it comes to MMA, he might be able to knock down someone because of how small the gloves are. But in boxing, he doesn't throw anything from the hip. It's like he's slapping. And the amount of shots Jake took was tremendous, but it hardly did it, but it hardly did anything. So that's why I feel Jake was able to weather the storm and win unanimously. But obviously, Nate didn't jab. I think he regressed. I just feel like the shot selection was poor. I feel like he did not well he I feel like he did well to a punching bag, I guess. All Nate was trying to do was out classic tactic of double guarding trying to tire his opponent out. Taking all the damage trying to parry stuff, but literally walking down. But Nate doesn't have any power to be able to do anything with that, and Jake didn't capitalize. There were hardly any left foot turns, just didn't do enough to the body. He was holding a lot. I just thought it was quite a poor, professionally whack-ass performance. That was my end on it, ladies and gentlemen. And that's KSI talking that sass, trying to get that fight, but he got to secure that victory with Tommy Fury. This is fight to get knocked out, and I'm O-U-T, and I'm at. Have a good one.